your eyewitness weather forecast. Well, good morning. It is going to be a very soggy Thursday that's ahead of us with a good steady and even some heavier rainfall that'll work its way in before we expect that changeover and a little mixture of some wet snow as we go through our night tonight. So a lot to talk about. Let's start off with radar and the rain is settling and making itself right at home from Greenwood, Berwick, Tamaqua, Shenandoah, Schuylkill Haven, Higgins near Asherton, Sunbury, White Deer, Steady, Light rainfall has started to work its way in and just making itself right at home at this point. Everybody's seeing the rain right now, and as we continue through our afternoon, the rain is going to continue, and at times, it'll even get just a little on the heavy side. So let's take this out for the big picture, and here is Tropical Storm Zeta. That's what's bringing us this slug of moisture right now, and this sticks with us all day today. Then this cold front comes in overnight tonight. It's the colder air that's behind that front. That'll help with that changeover to a little wet snowfall in just parts of our area overnight and into tomorrow morning. So the umbrella, a necessity as we're leaving for work, as the kids are headed to the bus stop this morning, we're sitting in the 40s and the temperature is not going to get all that much better through the rest of our day. But let's talk about the rain. It's steady pretty much the entire morning going right into the afternoon. We do have a few heavier pockets that will slowly make their way through. That even continues into this evening as we're coming home from work. The rain is persistent. This definitely is a rainfall we could use as far as any flooding is concerned. It's not expected through much of our area. However, that being said, let's just keep an eye out for areas of poor drainage or spots that may be clogged with leaves might have a little tough time keeping up, but it's not a widespread issue by any means. Here comes that colder air overnight tonight. That's what changes things over to wet snowfall. And remember, over the last couple of days, we've been talking about it. We'll talk about it again. It's mainly elevation based. Notice that in the valley south of Interstate 80, we are mostly staying rain while in the northern tier and those higher elevations of the Poconos, that's where we're seeing that change over to some snow. Then this will continue through the morning and then really taper off by the time we get to the start of our afternoon. So this does not linger through our day on Friday. As far as any totals are concerned, first off, this is mostly going to be on grassy areas and maybe the car. You can really see it'll be tough to get any snowfall accumulation at all through the valleys. Northern tier, higher elevations, a coating to about an inch or two is what we're expecting. This does not look like it's going to cause any major problems on the roadways because those road temperatures are not going to drop all that much overnight tonight. And you can really see that as we go into tonight through tomorrow morning. It does get rather cold to our north, but in our area, those road temperatures are really expected to stay above that freezing mark. So no major problems expected with this, but for some of us, it will be the first snowfall of the season. 48 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. Periods of rain, some of which will come down heavy at times. Then overnight tonight, 36 showers early. Then we see that rain and wet snow mix, which continues into tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, we do dry out. We'll actually try to get a little late day sunshine at 44. Saturday for Halloween, plenty of sunshine at 48. Those overnight lows, though, 20s on Friday. Saturday night, we're down to the 30s. Sunday, back to the 50s during the day. Clouds will increase, followed by a late shower. Sunday night into Monday, we're expecting a rain or snow shower as colder air comes back in. Very windy Monday. We're in the mid 40s. Tuesday, it's a little on the cloudy side, but looks pretty quiet for Election Day. Wednesday, we'll get some sun back and end up back in the 50s. And don't forget about the eye.